back to another video, people. I've been slacking. I, ain't gonna lie. I got some heat for today. Little cap, so as y'all can see, machine not even plugged up right now. But I don't know. I got I got y'all with a little tutorial video. There's a little something I made up today. I'm simple. Uh, you know, let's go to the inside. X stitch so Oh, that's crazy. Dropped it. Yeah, make sure y'all make sure you're giving all your abundance to God. Uh, like real soon. You get all the ink for the screen printing machine. The emulsion, burning screens, all the cleaners and stuff, synthesizer. And some I need to get some better thread. I'm gonna uh maybe today or tomorrow do some more. And then we got the bad boy right here. I'm talking about we finna be I'm finna be pressing my heart away in this little uh, heat press. But yeah, with that being said. Y'all stay tuned because it's a whole new little video. I'm gonna do a little tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to make some flares. And a lot of people probably have their own way of making flares, but I mean, I guess I have my own way of making flares too. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that to y'all. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. Before we start, I'm gonna give y'all a little skin care routine because some of y'all don't be watching your faces. Y'all need to wash your faces. This acne is not cool. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into that. All right, so first thing, don't mind this ink on the floor. I have to get something to get that out. First thing y'all want to do is get you a pair of pants, whatever pair of pants that you're going to be using, and then two shirts or whatever fabric you want to use. For this video, I'm going to be using these two red shirts. I'm trying to make a pair of um, red. Um, we're going to make them flirt on the side right here. So I'm trying to make a pair. I want red, but I don't have red fabric besides my Coca-Cola fabric that I've kind of overused already. So... Make sure your uh, machine is ready or whatever you're gonna be using to sew. All you wanna do, first thing, you wanna take your scissors and exact point at the pants. I would say maybe, actually, first thing you wanna do is take you a cardboard template. I made this out of a hoverboard box, give you a cardboard template, uh, cut it out in a triangle. This is gonna be the side of the pants right here. We're gonna make them flare. So they're gonna flare about this far. So I'm gonna take this same template you want to place it at the bottom of the of the jeans. And then if you want, you can kind of take your scissors and kind of make like a little line. Then take your scissors. You want to cut along the seam. So let me show you. Uh, right here, you see the seam right here. You want to cut along there. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into our cut. Cut along that seam right there. Make sure you're using a pair of sharp scissors. I mean, you don't want to go all the way up to that line. You want to go right, like right there. So, as y'all can see, our line is right here, and I made the cut almost to that line. So you want to make you a nice little cut in the jeans, the bottom of the jeans, like this, straight cut. Like I said, along that seam, you should be able to fill it. Just uh, cut very easily, and then go ahead and do the same thing to the uh, next side. Next thing you want to do is take that same cardboard uh, template, put it up against the fabric or whatever fabric you're using at this. You can be I mean, I have some fabrics that I have from Walmart over here, and then I have some on the floor, something I made that bag out of. Take that same, take that cardboard template, and all you want to do is just cut out the same square that you uh, cut out uh, for this cardboard template. Another thing, I find it easy when I'm cutting fabrics to um, go from one side and then just go ahead and cut from this side instead of having to go all the way around like that because then it might stretch the fabric and then it might not come out proportional. So yeah, just cut from up and then cut from up and then it, it'll still meet at the point. Now you have your two triangles, triangle pieces for your uh, flare part. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the shirt away. As well as maybe I might throw it too. Might throw this, throw this one away too. And now, as you can see, you'll have, you can do outside if you want. You'll have this right here on, on the outside, as well as this one right here, right there, to make these jeans. Now I get y'all ready for the next part. All right, so the next thing y'all wanna do just go ahead and take y'all's pieces, put them right here on whatever y'all are uh, using, wherever y'all are at. Take your jeans, you wanna go for right here, put your arm inside, 
pull the jeans over your arm like this. Then you want to pull this from the bottom, pull them out. Just want to make them inside out. Then, so like I was saying, cutting along, cutting along that seam right there. Then you want to take, so for my fabric, this is the uh, side that I want to be on the outside of the jeans. So I'm gonna flip it over. I want this side to be on the outside of the jeans, so I'm gonna flip it over like this. I'm gonna take the same piece, and then I'm gonna take it. This is the part that I want outside, so I'm gonna put this part facing the outside part of the jeans. This is the outside part of the jeans. This is the inside part of the jeans. The inside's gonna be lighter than the outside, depending on what jeans you have. So take this piece, you wanna take it, put it on here like this, and then you wanna line it up against this uh, inside seam right here. Line it up right here, just like that, all the way to the very top. You wanna make sure it's all the way lined up, just like this, it's all the way lined up. You wanna take it and you wanna go ahead and set it on your machine. And then if you're hand sewing, you can go ahead and uh, start sewing, just like that. So. Now, you're ready to go ahead and start sewing it. So, whenever you're sewing this, you wanna always make sure the whole time that it's all the way lined up to the very top, so that way it doesn't come out of that So, I'm take it, and make sure it's lined up. Okay, you're good. You wanna go slow with it, you can make sure it's lined up. Make sure your fabric is at the top and it's not coming. Away. Then, like I said, make sure it's all at the top. I'm going kind of slow with this so I can make sure it doesn't so get the best stitch. But you can really take your time with it if you want the best uh, product. And I'm kind of going a little faster because I'm at the end. So, like I was saying, as you can see, my stitch, and let me show y'all. My stitch is along this outer edge right here, and it's going all the way up to the top, right here where the uh, top of the pins are, uh, we made our cut. So you wanna make sure that it's all lined up. As you can see, I made it, it was lined up, kept it lined up all the way around. Then you can actually turn it this way and like kinda look at how it's gonna look for the outside, as you can go ahead and see your stitch. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make another pass on these so I can make sure it's a nice stitch. But from what I see, it's a pretty good stitch. This is what the outside is gonna look like. Going back inside, and then let's go ahead and sew the rest of the pants up. I ain't sure y'all to start to finish, but it's got me a little breakfast. Um, I ain't gonna lie, this is gonna much. I ain't gonna lie to you. Got some eggs mixed with some bacon. Probably gonna get a piece of toast. I'm really gonna turn this video into a little vlog too, so probably gonna get a little toast, morning time routine. I ain't did the face routine part yet, but I'm gonna do that in a minute. So, a little breakfast to eat. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of exercise and then I'm gonna finish the rest of this day. I don't know why I'm gonna wear my jacket, but I guess. I don't know you need a jacket. I everything I need. Ooh. Can I do a photo shoot? These kind of stuff. These um, car uh, cargos that I made. Um, so right here. I don't know what she's talking about, but. This red, kind of red accents to match the red everything. That's how the pictures came out. Get the drip on. My own car goes on. Um, the same thing I was trying to tell y'all how to do, make your own clothes. My mom over here making coffee. I don't even think you need coffee. Anyways, there's a little process of uh of just getting this bank account done. Your boy is 17 trying to get his own bank account with all my funds in there, you know what I'm saying? 